Lucky she wasn't paralyzed or killed. That's the opinion of a noted cosmetic surgeon about the shooting of Ellie Richardson. Richardson was shot Thanksgiving morning outside Lachey's bar. She's recovering and a benefit is underway to help with her medical bills. That's right. It's happening, in fact, right now at the Aronoff Center, which is where Nine on Your Side's Tom McKee is live. Tom? Well, 98 Degrees with Drew and Nick Lachey has been on stage here at the Aronoff Center for about an hour, another 30 minutes or so left in the show. Now this show was added as a benefit for Ellie Richardson to help her with the medical bills. And the doctor that I talk with today says she is very, very lucky. Lucky not to have any permanent eye injuries, lucky to not have any permanent brain injuries, and even lucky to be alive. Ellie Richardson was wounded Thanksgiving morning after she closed Lachey's bar for the night. She was crossing the street with her boyfriend when she was shot in the face. She described the bullet's path exclusively to not on your side. It hit me on my left side, right, like directly underneath my temple, and it took, went through my nasal cavity, and it lodged on the right side. Like, you could almost see it protruding, like, right below my ear. Anytime something like this happens, I think we always think how lucky we are, and certainly I think she was lucky. Dr. John Mendelson has practiced cosmetic surgery for 20 years and says big medical problems were just a millimeter or two away. Slightly further back, might have had brain injury. Uh, there are a lot of blood vessels in the face. She certainly could have had bleeding problems and bled to death. But that's not what happened. Richardson should make a full recovery. They thought I was going to lose my left eye, and my vision is almost completely perfect out of my left eye. So they were worried about brain damage, obviously, which I didn't have any brain damage. But Dr. Mendelson told me there was more trouble possible beyond that. So we've got a, a large nerve that comes out here called the facial nerve, and that's the one that allows us to express ourselves. So facial paralysis is something that I would have expected with uh, the shooting injury. So her a complete side of her face or, or both sides of her face could have been paralyzed. And some of those nerves control the movement of the eyes and tongue. Richardson knows she's lucky and appreciates the support she's received. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to have all of these people in my life do such wonderful things for me. And that includes the entire band, 98 Degrees. Uh, Dr. Mendelson also told me that he offered to help with the jaw recovery, the jaw work on Ellie Richardson, but the family went in a different medical direction. On the criminal side of the case, Lavoris Hightower is charged with attempted murder and felonious assault, and he's at the Hamilton County Justice Center awaiting trial. Tom McKee, not on your side, live at the Aronoff Center downtown. Tom.